Carl Zabo is the vice president and general counsel at NetChoice. Now, that is a company that encourages free speech. <laughs> How about that? And he goes after wokeism, too. I like this guy. Uh, Carl, it seems like there was an internal debate within Twitter and the activists won. Is that an accurate portrayal of what's going on here? Yeah, completely accurate. What you're seeing from these files is that the woke rogue employee seized control of Twitter and began content moderating. And this is almost ironic that it's coming from Barry Weiss. Remember, she was kicked out of the New York Times editorial board by the rogue woke employees there. But the good news is that Elon Musk has taken over, he's making this information public, and he's taking new steps that not a lot of people are talking about, like the community notes feature, which would actually enable the users to be the ones to append comments to tweets and then vote up or down whether they're helpful or not. So taking power away from rogue woke employees and giving it back to the people, giving it back to the Twitter users. Those are the types of solutions that are made possible by the free market. And those are the very types of solutions that, as you pointed out, KJP over at the White House are trying to stop. Do you think that you're, uh, I know you're pushing back against wokeism. Do you think wokeism has, has its time come and gone? Is it in retreat yet? I certainly hope so. One of the things that we've seen, it's not just Twitter, as I mentioned, the New York Times, the Washington Post, all across the board, you're seeing that the employees are now calling the shots as to what's best for the business. Hopefully, Elon Musk is kind of the cheerleader and spearhead reminding these leaders, reminding these CEOs that they run the companies, not their employees, and that everyone needs to be working for what's the best interest of the shareholders, not some woke ideology. Um, now, the, as you know, obviously, uh, Sam Bankman-Fried was arrested in the Bahamas last night. He's expected to be extradited to the United States. In his opening statement, which he would have delivered at today's hearing, be cancelled, but he would have said this, he blamed his lawyers for the fiasco. You're a lawyer. What do you say to that? <laughs> you know, you can blame the lawyers, but typically it's not the lawyers that go to prison. It's the CEOs. It's the Bernie Madoffs. And in this case, that's exactly what Sam Bakeman Freed is. You're not exactly painting yourself as a uh, innocent party when you abscond to the Bahamas with billions of dollars, which is exactly what he's done. So what we are seeing now is the gears of justice are turning. They are going to grind down Sam Bankman Freed, regardless of his millions of dollars in campaign contributions to the Democratic Party. Hopefully here, justice prevails. And frankly, you can blame the lawyers, but at the end of the day, it's Sam Brinkman Freed is the one that is now in handcuffs. And, and you're confident that at the end of the day, we will really find out what happened and where that money went. You're confident we will get to the bottom of it eventually, right? Yeah, one of the things that you saw was how quickly this indictment was announced. It's very fast when it comes to security exchange type uh, approaches. And it's very likely that his ex girlfriend, the person who ran the slush fund Alameda, is uh, dropping the dime on Sam ah. Bankman Freed. Ah, that's new. Interesting. Uh, Carl Zabo, net choice. All good stuff. Thanks for being with us, Carl. I know we'll see you again soon. Thank you.